While today marks the release of the economic impact study into the 2012 Spring Racing Carnival, Victorian Premier and Minister for Racing Dennis Napthine was joined by Racing Victoria CEO Bernard Saundry and champion jockey Glenn Boss to unveil some of the key results from last year's Spring Racing Carnival. I'm pleased to announce today uh, with Racing Victoria that the economic study has been completed on the 2012 uh, Spring Racing Carnival and we can announce that uh, the Spring Racing Carnival returned over $620 million to the economy of this state. An increase of 7% and I think that is a fantastic result for the Spring Racing Carnival. The attendances at the Spring Racing Carnival meetings, 115 meetings across the state, were well over 700,000 attendances. And they included obviously the uh, iconic events like the Melbourne Cup Carnival, the Caulfield Cup and the Cox Plate, but it included uh, terrific events throughout regional and rural Victoria. What we see year on year is further growth with the international and interstate visitors to this great state of Victoria. More than 70,000 people that attended this state, uh, this state's racing, the Spring Racing Carnival, that, that, that segment generated over $200 million of that investment of $620 million of economic impact. We're delighted that uh, our partnership with the government continues to grow. We're delighted that the businesses of Melbourne um, enjoy what thoroughbred racing has to offer through 64 great days of racing. I know Bernard and his massive amount of staff, they must be sitting back being so proud to hear these figures that have just come, been announced to say that yes it is getting bigger, we've got more interstate people and more globally it's getting bigger. Um, that just makes our job so much more fun because when we get there, the massive crowds that, that attend not only Flemington, they're attending the, the country race meetings, which I enjoy because I've won most of them. Um, <laughs> but they're just great fun because, you know, the, not only do we have the economic benefits just for the, sit, our, our, for the Melbourne city, but it's the actual the country centres that really need it because the country centres are the grassroots of the racing. So for me to get to there and enjoy the massive crowds and obviously the, the city gets the benefits of, of that. Thank you.